Good evening. Hello, good evening, Diana. How are you doing today? Great, teacher. What about you? I'm doing really good. Thank you. And we have here Jessica and we have here Anna, right? Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing, Jessica? Um, so so because it, it was a, a hard day. It was a hard day? Yes, yes, How because so? I and I I went to al trámite de experticia. I don't know how to say that in English. Eh, es con respecto a los vehículos. Okay. Para, uh -huh, uh -huh. So eh, what is your job? Eh, I'm a, soy auditora. Eh, trabajo en una entidad de gobierno. Ajá. Pero wow. ajá, tengo, tengo un carro que lo compré hace como tres meses quizás. Oh, so that was Entonces, like, not a, yeah, that was not like a thing for your job, right? Yes. Yeah. It mm -hmm. was just yes. something personal. Yes, yes, yes. It was personal. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. So very good. Um, and we have Anna. Anna, how are you doing today, Anna? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, so so too. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because uh, I have pending work to do it, and I'm going to do after the class. And so, what? What is it like? Uh, Anna, Anna, you are the one that work in a call center, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I remember. Uh, I do reports and disciplinary process and things like that. Okay. And I have that pending. Yeah. So you're going to sleep late today? I, yes, I know. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Well, at least you have a job. That's what I tell all the people. Like, we have to be grateful that we have a job because nowadays it's really difficult to have one, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, very good, Anna. And then we have Ruth, we have Brenda, we have Miguel that are connecting just right now. Hi guys, how are you doing? Anna Beatriz is here. How were you guys? How was your weekend actually? So it's Monday, I know, teacher, it's Monday, right? Here in my in my in my town i don't know if you say that too guys but i'm gonna say it in english but you yeah i don't know you think it in spanish so on monday not even hands put eggs <laughs> do you know what is a hen no you don't know what is a hen no. Diana? Yeah. exactly diana diana said it's a can you repeat diana Gagina? yeah <laughs> So on Mondays, not even hands put eggs. Los lunes y las gallinas. Right. Morning. Exactly. So it's Monday, teacher, right? Like, eh. I know. I know how it's to be on a Monday, even though you have been working all day long. And now you have to be in a class. So ah, eh, difficult. I know that. But it's okay. I, I always tell my students as well that I should be I'm impressed actually, because the people who are learning English right now, they are learning English in the middle of a pandemic. So that's something really impressive, right? No, no everybody can do that. So yeah, excellent guys. So I told you the last class that this class, I was gonna be punctual with attendance and I'm gonna be punctual as I promised. So I'm gonna start with the Attendance, remember you have to have your cameras on and your full names have to be there. So let's go. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Excellent. Justo a tiempo, yo some time. <laughs> Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Um, Estefania Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. Okay, no. Uh, Florida Alma Ramirez Calderón. I'm here. Excellent. Um, Harvin Isaac Guevara Medina. Jennifer Gisela Lopez Sánchez. 
Juan Jose Avalos Campos. I am here. Excellent. Que Katia Margarita Herrera Pérez. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. Mar Merlin Lisset Ventura Cruz. Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here. Excellent. Ronald Antonio Quintanilla Ciudad Real. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. Ruth Saraí, no? Um, Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Yes, teacher, I'm, I'm here. Oh, Ruth, Ruth Saraí. <laughs> yo, yes. yo sabía, yo por eso me quedé Ruth, no? Ok. Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Nope. Um, Suleima Lisset Méndez Romero. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. William Antonio Morales Mancia. I'm here. Excellent. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. Silvia Maria Rivera Rivas. Nope. Okay, guys, so that was the first attendance and I have set the alarm for the second one because I always forget that I forgot on, on Friday, I remember. So now I have an Teacher. alarm that will remind me. Katia. Teacher, I'm late, but I am Katia. Okay, okay, okay. Thank for you for, time. yeah. Thank you for telling me, Katia, and to all the people that just connected, don't worry, guys, you're gonna be, you're gonna be on the attendance because we have the second attendance, right? At nine. PM. As I was telling you on Friday, I have uh, I had a class um, before your class, so I was coming late to the class. But now I don't have that class, and I always will, I'll be connecting at seven fifty-five. Sometimes if I don't, I'm not on time. It's okay. Like I always, I'm always gonna be here at eight. But sometimes I'm like most of the time I'm gonna connect five minutes earlier. And like today, right, guys, we were chatting and we were speaking a little bit uh, before eight and now it's eight. So I go with the attendance. So try to be punctual because at eight I'm going to be with the attendance. But don't worry. Don't worry. You're here and you're going to have your attendance. So don't worry. But next time, you know. And Brenda was just on time, right, Brenda? You were like this to be late. <laughs> Actually, I was there, but the camera was closed because oh. um, I was just coming to your house. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. So, guys, thank you for coming to the class. Thank you for being here. And I hope you had a great weekend. I don't know how many of you had weekends off, but I hope you had a great weekend. Anyways, I'm going to start with the class. And the first thing we're going to do, remember what was the last um, homework that I let you to, like, you had to do, that I asked you to do? You remember what was that? Yes, I remember. What was that? Yes. yes, I do. Okay, okay. So, Suleyma, you were saying what was the activity? Yes, the talk about uh, about our jobs experience. And you seen the time, the time expressions. Thank you very much. I'm reminding you guys because last homework was like, eh, we were confused, right? So we had like different homeworks for the last class, but this class is going to be better. I know that. And we have to talk like Suleyma was saying, thank you very much, Suleyma. So it's to talk about our job experience. I don't know how many of you, like you use, have had a job, that's okay. Or many of you like have a really long experience. I don't know, like in different job positions or maybe in just one business and you have been working there all your life. But we're gonna talk about that. For example, in my case, I don't know, I'm not allowed. I don't think I'm allowed to say all my job experience, but I can say like, I was working, I, th I think I told you, I was working as a teaching, teaching assistant in Instituto Nacional de Sultan from, from January 2006, yeah, from January 2015 to August 2015. So you, I'm using from to, right? That's one. 
then I can use the to introduce a sequence, right? You remember sequence, to introduce a sequence, I use then. So it's another thing that I'm introducing. So then I started working in, I don't know, in a private school for one year. So I'm using a, another time expression for one year, right? So that's what you have to do. Talk about your experience, but also use the time expressions. Can you remind me of the time expressions, guys? From, from is the for since from then until and long. Excellent. What everybody said. Excellent. And the last one was for, yes. Guys, when you're speaking, I can see your cameras, like your cameras turn green. So I can see who's speaking, right? So don't worry. I'm always going to be like looking at you. Okay, so we're going to talk. I know that some people weren't here on Friday, but I'm telling you right now, you have to talk about your job experience. Using time expressions, like how long have you been there, from what year to what year, and stuff like that. Also, that guys, that information that you have is going to be really, really, really important today because we have another topic. I don't know if you have seen the manual. I'm going with the manual. Th that. If you want to know what topic I'm going to talk about tomorrow, you just have to go to the platform and you will see it there. Okay, um, we're going to talk a little bit about job interviews and not much like job interviews. We're going to be talking about like filling job applications. So you need to have your experience. It's going to be helpful. So we kill two birds with one rock, right? Excellent. I'm gonna send you guys to the breakup rooms and you have to tell right now your classmates about your job experience. Remember again, when you go to the breakup rooms, it's your time to shine and you have to be speaking a lot of English. I don't wanna be in a breakup room and you're like, no, oh, but I don't know guys, I, I didn't do the homework. You know your job experience, just say it, right? That was with time, so you can you could prepare, but it's okay if you didn't because you remember what's your job experience. Okay, guys, I'm gonna send you to the breakout rooms to give an example of what we are going to do. Not so I don't wanna <laughs> I don't want the same situation as the last activity to happen in this class. So I'm gonna give you an example. So I talk about my job experience, and now I'm gonna ask I don't know. Hmm, Juan Jose, can you tell me about your job experience, Juan Jose? <clears throat> okay. Um, I was working uh, since 1980, uh, 90, uh, 1995, mm -hmm. 1995, um, and study too uh, until um, 1999. Um, and I have worked uh, from several things, but uh, I'm teaching. I was working uh, teaching uh, since um, 1995 too. Wow! Uh, at the University uh, Technologic or Technologic University, uh, teaching uh, there. Um, but I uh, stay, I stay, uh, I don't remember, ya, ya, ya no continue. Uh, so I didn't since, continue since working? Only two years, working? only two years, only two years. So you I, worked I at a UTEC for two years? For two years. Uh, okay. Then I uh, uh, leave from, uh, from El Salvador. Um, you left El Salvador? Back. Yes, but I came back uh, from 20, uh, to, uh, 2000, 2000, I came back, I came back and uh, uh, continue study, continue study until um, 2003, until 2010. Uh, I graduated uh, of uh, civil engineer too. Uh, first, I graduated from architecture after from civil engineering. Uh, after I worked at the, uni at the Francisco University uh, for 11 years, 
uh, I was a responsibility to coordinate the architecture correct from 2011 to 2013. After the director proposed me to be administrator of the art and design career, which I have uh, from 2000, uh, 2013 to date. Wow, that was a long one, you guys. Very good, Juan Jose. You have like a big and long experience, right? You have yeah. been working a lot. Yes. So you are you are telling me that you're a civil engineer and you are an architect? Yes. Wow. And now you teach math? That's what you teach? Um, a little, a little. I, I teach hydraulic, I teach topography, I teach structurals, I teach um, many material. I don't know. Assignments. Don't know Assignment, many assignments, um, but in this moment only, only three. Uh, the material in Spanish is Tecnica de las Instalaciones. Uh, Inter is, installation uh, techniques? Yes, is an assignment of uh, assignment? very special. Assignment, very special. So where are you working right now? Yes. Where? Ah, uh, in the uh, in the University of Francisco Gavidia. Oh, Francisco Gavidia, excellent! Wow, guys, so that was a like it's a lot of experience. Okay, so good example. We had a good example with Juan Jose. Thank you very much, Juan Jose. That was a really good one, guys. If you want to ask your classmates about their experience and say, "Hey, where do you work?" or maybe you know someone that worked there and you want to speak to them about that, go ahead and speak to them about that. But first as I did with Juan Jose, let them finish, okay? If you wanna say something about that, just let them finish and then you continue. I'm just gonna correct some words there, like career instead of carrera, like career, career, right? Career, that's, that, that's the correct name. And director, no, principal, that's better. When you say the principal, it's, it's like director in Spanish, right? So, but good, good job. That was really good. So I'm gonna send you guys to the breakout rooms. Is it? understandable the activity we're going to do yeah yes excellent yes. very good thank you very much so i'm gonna send you to breakup rooms uh four people per breakup room and you have to take turns talk about your job experiences if you have questions let them at the end of like when they're speaking let them finish and then you ask okay let's go Claudia. Hi. Uh, I send you an invitation to the breakout rooms. Uh, okay. Okay. And, and request more when they were not available for available for sale in different stores. And I quit because it, I was studying at the same time and my university schedule got complicated to work. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I did an internship at, at Camara de Comercio El Salvador as an assistant to the communications management for one year. I learned many things related to my career. That was on um, 2013. Then I could go, I could work again, and I got a new job as a community manager at Prometicas Bank. I was there for a short period of time in 2014, when I was almost finishing hard, yeah, right? Hard. Because six, six days working at the week. Yes. It's so tired. <laughs> and, 
for the responsibility that I have, I, I have to work in my, in my house too. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, talking I, about my, my job experience, um, I started working with an aunt in 2017 for three months in her store. Uh, from October 2018 to December, the from that year. After that, uh, then I started working in a call center as an agent in December uh, 2018. Mm -hmm. um, as an agent. Uh, what is your experience, Brenda? Okay, in my case, the same like you, uh, I have been working like just two, in two works in my whole life. For example, in my case, I started uh, to work in the, my first company was uh, from 2014 till uh, 2019. That was from there. So I was working, I was, develop, I was a developer also there. I was a programmer. So okay. uh, in all this time, I have been doing the same thing. Um, and since that time, I started to learn a lot about programming. And then after that, I started in another company that was last year, uh, no, that was in 2019. And then I was there since December until now I'm in the same company doing the same thing. So, uh, yes, and uh, work services too. And then uh, I had the opportunity to apply uh, for a coach position. And uh, I learned how to handle the team and I help the, the people to achieve uh, goals and uh, try to give them the motivation and and all of them as a group. And uh, then two months ago, um, I apply again as a senior coach position. Uh, right now, I, I am in that position, so I don't have their long working uh, on there, but I am trying to give them the best. I just, I uh, am charged on the, of the disciplinary process and things like that. In which call center? Uh, in Focus Services? I don't know if you know. Foc Focus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's new, but it's very hard. Yes. A little bit. Yes. Well, I have had several jobs since I was 18 years old. Now I am 28 years old, but I think the most important job for me was
have to stop stop the the that with the food because I was I, my company called me again. So I am in the in the travel agency now. Mm -hmm. Wow, it is great. Mm -hmm. cool. Yes. <laughs> Hello, did you call me, guys? Guys, did you call me? No. 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 Mm -mm. No. Oh, I had like a someone call me. Let's see, if alguien de aquí de esta break room me llamó. No. No. Wow, no. that's weird. Okay, thank you guys. <laughs> Did you finish? Did everyone say the, their experience? No. No. Oh, you're waiting for who's who's Claudia. Claudia. Oh, but Claudia, Claudia, you're new, right, Claudia? This is your first class. Claudia, is this your first class? with me okay that's okay sorry 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 uh, yes first class it's my okay. it's my first class so they are talking about their job experiences so if you want to talk about your job experience it's okay or if you don't know how to well that's okay because it's your first class do you want to talk about your job experience Eh, I don't understand. Oh, están hablando de sus exper su experiencia de trabajo, experiencia laboral. Okay. So, si usted quiere hacerlo, puede. Si no, igual ya vamos a terminar los break rooms. Sí, eh, gracias. Mejor escucho y, y, y luego veo. Gracias. Ok, ok. We're going to finish about like in one minute, you guys. Ok. Okay. okay, excellent. Hello. 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 What's the practice, you guys? It was good. It was good. Can you hear can you hear me well, guys? Yes. yes. And can you see me well? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so because uh, I'm looking at you and, and some of your cameras are like that, 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 that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe it's my my internet that was wondering. Okay. Oh, maybe because you're coming to the main class and it's like, yeah, it can it could be that. So excellent. I was listening to some job experiences, and it seems like you guys have been working for a while now, right? So many of you have been working for a while. That that's good. That's excellent. I always say that it doesn't matter. Well, it matters, but not that much. How many like titles? or I don't know, anything that you have, like you have like, I have studied this and this and this and this. If you don't have experience, right? It's, it's something like really complicated to get because you have to work to get experience, but you have to get experience to work. So how does it work? We never that, know. That would be just to make your wall look pretty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I always say, but actually, Companies are looking for people that have experience doing the job more than people that have like so many titles. And, and yeah, I, I knew that right after I graduated, I was like, yeah, the world is not like I imagine it, right? It's, it's different. It's just different. Okay, very it's good, guys. I was look here, like I was listening to some of your job experiences. That's Awesome, that's pretty good. I'm happy that you have a job. Again, I said, we have to be grateful because we have 
jobs. And thank you for being speaking in the breakout rooms. That's the most important thing for me. Excellent. Oh, guys, that word, I have heard some of you say like different, important. Don't say important. Doesn't sound like that. It sounds like important. Important. Okay. Important. I'm gonna, if you can look on YouTube, because I don't think I'm a, um, supposed to send you videos through WhatsApp, but yeah, I can maybe, I, I'm gonna look and I'm gonna send it to the chat here. There's a video where uh, a woman explains how to say that T, for example, when you're saying important, mountain, that for example, you can say curtain, but no, it's not correct. That's, that's how it's written. But the pronunciation is curtain, curtain, okay? And for example, cotton, so it's said cotton, no, cotton, cotton. So there's like, there's, we call that like a stop and silence T. So we don't say the T, we stop there. And there's like a stop here. So for example, important, important. You see that silence is part of the pronunciation. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look for the video and I'm gonna send it to you. Um, let's go. So let me share my screen so you can see the topic we have for today. Okay, here we are. So this is the video conferencia for, and can you help me read the top? Oh guys, the people that have only one name and one last name, can you please change that? We need two names and two last names, please. So we have this video conference number four. Can you help me? Harbin, can you help me read the topic, please? Feeling now. I think, a job application. Excellent. So filling out a job application. So do you know what is the meaning of filling out? Like Write complete. down the black and space. Excellent. Oh my God, guys, you're so smart. Excellent. Good job. So can you help me read the topic, please? Flor, because I see you are happy today. So can you help me help me read the topic? The, I mean the date. Monday, May 17th. 2021. 17th. Excellent. Good job. 2021. Yeah, guys, you can say this 2021, but I don't know why I prefer to say 2021. I think it sounds bad, but both ways are correct. Excellent. Good job, Flor. Thank you very much. So we did this already. So we talk about, oh, no, no, we didn't do this. Hmm. Oh no, yeah, I think we did, so that's okay. So we're gonna do this. This is the important thing for right now. And then we have a conversation. So this is how to talk about personal information. So for example, hey, what's your name? And all these questions here. So I'm gonna give you a pronunciation for these questions and then you have to practice. So the first question, obviously you know how to say it guys, but I'm just gonna repeat as a reinforcement. So number one, what's your name? Number two, what are you from? Number three, what's your surname? Or you can say, what's your family name? Four, what's your first name? Five, where do you live? Where do you live? Actually, yeah, where do you live? Six, what's your address? Address? No, address. Seven, what's your telephone number? Or you can say, what's your phone number? And number eight, what's your email address, right? Can you help me read the first question, please, Suleyma? What's your name? Katia, number two. Where are you from? Thank you very much. William, three. What's your surname? Thank you very Fine. much. Excellent. Sure, I have a question about uh, the third. Uh, what your surname is the same as last name? Yeah. No? Yeah, that's okay. Like surname and last name. But surnames usually can have like both last names. And last name, people just talk about one last name. That's like really common in English, right? 
but your family name are your two last names, like we have in Spanish. Okay. Okay. Thank uh, okay, it's okay. Uh, let's go with Brenda. Can you please read number four? What's your first name? Thank you very much. Jessica? Number five, teacher. Yeah. Where do you live? Thank you very much. Number six, Harvin. What's your address? Thank you very much. Ana Beatriz? You're muted. Microphone? Hey. Yeah. What's your telephone number? Excellent. Very good. Uh, Kerry? What is your email address? Oh, it's joint, Kerry. So what's, what's, what's your email address? Thank you very much. So guys, these questions are to talk about personal information, right? So we are going to practice like five minutes because this class is about you practicing and me teaching you what to do. So we're gonna have like a practice for five minutes, no longer than five minutes. And you have to choose, maybe take a screenshot if you might. Okay, take a screenshot or write some of the, the questions. So you're gonna ask some of these questions or maybe you have them in your mind to your classmates. So for example, hey, um, let's see, for example, I'm working with Kerry again. So Kerry, uh, what's your full name, Kerry? Yes, my full name is Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. Excellent. And where do you live, Kerry? I live in Ilopango. Excellent. And where are you from? I am from El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Thank you very much, Kerry. I think we are all from El Salvador, right? <laughs> I don't know if there's a foreign gene person here, tell me. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. Simple as that. You choose three or four questions to make to your classmates, and then you have a chance to answer the questions that your classmates are going to ask. Is it clear? Yes? yes, super clear. Yes. So we're gonna have a five minutes practice, just five minutes. We're coming back at 8.35, 8.39, something like that. Merlin, can you hear me, Merlin? Merlin. Hello, Merlin. Hello, teacher. Can you I'm hear sorry. me? I'm sorry. Yes, right now, yes. I was driving and from my job. So can you tell me your full name so I can write it on your on your profile right now? Yes, my name is Merlin. Yeah. Lisbeth. Lisbeth. Mm -hmm. Ventura. Yes. Cruz. Like that? Yes. So, Merlin, yes. your classmates right now are practicing how to say uh, like personal information, like what's your name, where do you live, what are you from in the breakout rooms, okay? So I'm gonna send you to a breakout room so you can practice, right? Okay, thank you so much. Yes. Jennifer, are you there, Jennifer? Jennifer. Oh, sorry. I was on mute and I didn't notice. Okay. I just want to tell you that I can't connect on time because I have a personal problem. If you don't mind, I rather not to turn on my computer because I'm not okay at all. And I turn you cannot turn on your camera? Just for today because as I told you, as I told you, I have a a problem and one relative passed away, so. 
Oh, I'm so sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry to hear about that. Are you okay to be in the class? Yes, I'm okay. I think it's very be busy. Distracted? Yes. Okay, so I'm sorry to hear about that. But do you think even though you have your camera off, can you practice and can you participate with your classmates? Yes, I can, but I I don't want to turn on the computer here for, for today. Okay, so I'm gonna send, but I send you the invitation to the breakout rooms. Yes. Uh, you can participate. The... You, yeah, you, you just can participate with them even though you, you have your camera off just for today. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, very good. You. Okay, your question. You, you ask, you ask uh, uh, Brenda. Uh, Brenda, uh, what's your uh, email address? Well, my email address is Brenda Sands uh, 503. And um, how do you say arroba? That, I don't remember. That. That? Mm, I don't, that. No, 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 no. At. Uh, at. Ooh, at. <laughs> at. Okay, Sorry. at, at uh, okay, at gmail.com. Okay, they have for here. Um Gary, what is your family name? My family name is Rosales. Rosales, nice, nice. And you say my family name? Mendez. My family name is Mendez. Yeah. Okay. okay. Where do you live, Kerry? I live in I I live in Santa Tecla. Okay. Uh, what's your yes, telephone sorry. number? What? No, sorry. <laughs> okay. What's your is telephone number? Two two one six nine. One five five. Okay. And uh, what's your is email address? Beatrice at romerica dot com dot sv. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Um, okay. If you want, ask ask different different questions. Not all the questions that we have in the list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay.
Hello. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, it took like a one minute or two minutes longer than I told you, but I we went. one. You missed one person? Yes. Yeah, I know. So I was telling you that I was. I told you that it was gonna be like just five minutes, but then I went to the breakout room and I heard like not everybody was finished participating, and not okay. everybody had a, a chance to to make the questions. But that's okay. At least you had the chance to to answer the questions, right? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Good job, guys. So, guys, um. I'm just gonna ask you this: Is this is a this is a question out of the topic? Do you know what out of the topic means? Yes. Yeah. What does it mean? It's not related with the topic we actually we are we are talking about. Yeah. Yes. So, guys, I'm gonna tell you this: Have you ever noticed that <laughs> when we speak in English? We have like a different voice, and then when we speak in Spanish, we have yes, a different absolutely, voice. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. It's like I, I, I don't know why, but I like my voice in English better. It's like I sound more sweeter. I don't know. It's, it, I, I think it sounds better, you guys. And I, I was living in the United States for 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 a while, and. I was talking to this person that speaks English and she was living in the same house I was living. And when I talked to her, she was like, you sound so serious when you're speaking English. But when your family calls you, you sound like you're like, right, like you're just speaking and laughing and stuff. And you sound like you're, you sound like, like you're joking all the time. That's what she said. And when you speak in English, it sounds like you're speaking really formal, really serious, right? Like, I just want to mention that because I, I heard you speak um, English sometimes. And when I heard, when I hear you speak Spanish, it's like a completely different person. <laughs> yes, so yeah, I agree. It, yeah, it, it's there. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to say that. Right now we have a conversation we have to practice and it's about, can you guess about what? Can you tell me, do you think, you know, what is the conversation about? We have been talking about that. Nope. Filling out applications. Filling out applications, maybe. And what else? The questions you were answering were what? About? Personal information. Personal information. Excellent. Information. That is correct. So let me share my screen with you guys. Remember, I'm going to uh, read this conversation twice. The first time is going to be about pronunciation. And the second time is going to be about intonation. So let's get started. What is your... My God. I don't like when this happens. Okay. Or your, like that maybe? Okay. What is your social security or security? Security? No, security. Security. Number. It's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six five four you can say the hyphen if you might hyphen seven eight six five four when where where remember the r has to be soft where you born i was born oh my same month july i was born on july first first ordinal number. Where did you work? I, hmm, how do we say this? Work it? Is correct to say work it? No. no. How do we say it? Work. work. Excellent. Good job, work. guys. You have it now. Worked. I worked in Molsa. What do you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. 
or you can say from 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic, chronic? Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Hypertension. Do you have that, guys? I have. It's 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 horrible, right? I know it's like an old people disease, but we young people can have it. So, uh, questions here. Uh, 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 okay, what, guys? Why do we say a university diploma and we don't say an university diploma? If this is a vowel, why? Because of the sound. The sound of the letter. What is the sound of the letter? U. U, like we're starting with a Y, right? Yes. Excellent, guys, you're so smart. You're gonna be teaching the class later. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and read the conversation with intonation. Let me do something here. Okay, what is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five hyphen seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. Guys, why do we say the evening and not the evening? Do you know that? Is a position. The position? It's because mm, it's a vocal start vocal. with a, a vocal, I, I don't know. Okay, vowel. Vowel. It starts with a vowel. With we have a consonant is the, and when we have a uh, vowel is the the correct. Oh my god, guys, you're really smart. So I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have a, any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Diana, do you want to say something? No, no. Oh, okay. I thought you want to say something. Okay, guys. Any questions about this? About pronunciation? Nope. Okay. So we're going to practice again and take turns. Take turns saying, I mean, being Alan and being Blanca. You can take turns there. Remember, this is about your practice. It's not about my practice. It's you that need to be learning how to speak in English. I already know, I think so. Sometimes I forget. I always tell my students, I'm not the kind of teacher that will be like, have you ever had a teacher that you say like, teacher, se equivocó, miren tal cosa, and they are like, no, I didn't, no. I, I didn't, you you see something wrong. If you tell me, teacher, you make a mistake, I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, thank you for telling me. I, I always say like, thank you for telling me because I know English, even though I, I speak English, is not my first language, you guys. So if sometimes you see a problem, tell me, I'm not gonna be mad, I'm gonna thank you, okay? So let me see how we're here. This is good, this is good, yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good. No, this is not good. I'm gonna move this person, yeah. yeah. You know, guys, when I'm, <laughs> when I have my students, I get to know them and I know like, if you are outgoing, you know what is an outgoing, out outgoing person, yeah? Not shy. Yeah, not shy, That's you're not shy. When you really, when you speak a lot, and I notice that. So I try to pair the students that don't speak with the students that speak. <laughs> because I pair two students that don't speak, they're gonna be like, and if I pair two students that speak, they'll be like, oh my God, 
it's my turn. I have to speak, right? So, yeah. Teacher, the, the advantage of the online classes you have is uh, anyone can can each other, like in classes. <laughs> but you can be chatting because you can chat. I think you can chat. But no, you're not going to be interrupting the class. That is an advantage. Yes, this is true, Diana. Okay, guys, there are going to be like three per people in breakout room. So take turns if you have three people. Let's go. Ruth, excellent. Now start that you, uh, Claudia. Yes. Uh, one. Yes. Yeah. What is your so social security number? It's three four five six three two four five five hyphen seven eight. Hola, Luis. Los alumnos ahorita están en break of rooms. I was born on July 1st. Where do you work? I worked in Molsa. What do you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have a hypertension. I work in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. Have, I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, perfect. I have BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Hypertension, great job. Hyperten hypertension or hypertension? I guess that is hy hypertension. 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 Hyper hypertension. Yeah, hypertension. 
Ah, okay. Okay. Um, what, but when I was um, I start to research a uh, job, I mm -hmm. had I had a different interviews in English, and I was got nervous. <laughs> so oh I remember God. that one recruitment, the career equipment. I don't know how to say it correctly, but equipment is correct. Me, Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, she told me that I was too energetic. Uh, 51. Uh, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. I, I think that is, is easier. Uh, where, do, where did you study? I studied at the Universidad Tecnológica. I graduated from there. Ah, I, I did. I teach that. Uh, in 1995 and the in 19 no in 2000 um, 19 19 2019 uh, I teach for last time in technological university ah, okay well if you want the uh... 2019 2021. Okay. Do you have a university diploma? Not yet, but I am studying in that. Okay. And do you have any chronic chronic medical condition? No, I don't have. Okay. Okay. Change the. <laughs> Okay, I will start. Just what start. is your social security number? Ah, oh, we, we have to go back. <laughs> Hi. 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 That's so funny. Why, why are you laughing, guys? <laughs> It's because we were talking and then it time us out. Oh, the time was out. Yeah, I know. But it's nine. And you know what happens at nine, right? Yeah, attendance. attendance. Yes. I was like, I have my alarm. I told you I was going to set my alarm and I did <laughs> because if not, I forget. <laughs> so let's get to it, you guys. I forget one day. <laughs> yeah, I forgot on Friday. That was awful. I, I, I felt so bad. Thank you, but right now I didn't. Okay, so let's go. Remember, turn on your camera when I say your name and you say, I'm here, okay? And full names, please write your full names. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Brenda Linda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Eh, Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. I'm here. Diana Yesenia Reyes Salas. I'm here. What happened? Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. No. Uh, Florida Alma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I am here. Um, Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. I'm here. Juan José Avalos Campos. I am here. Katia Margarita Herrero. I mean, I mean, I'm so, yeah. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. I'm here, teacher. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figue Figueroa. I'm here. Excellent. Um, Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. I'm here. Good job. Um, Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Suleima Lizeth Méndez Romero. I'm here. William Antonio Morales Mancía. I'm here. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. No mencioné a alguien. Yeah, everyone. 
Okay, very good. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, I have more students right now than at eight. So that's good. Okay, guys. So I went to the breakup room. Some people were practicing the conversation. Some people were talking about job experiences again. I don't know. You got excited talking about that. So you were mm -hmm. talking about that again. And then I, I went to other breakup rooms when they were doing the conversation. Yes, but they were changing the conversation. So for example, now let's talk about your real information. So like, are, have you any chronic like condition, right? Medical conditions. And they were talking about that. So that's good. I mean, you're free to do that as long as you are practicing. Okay, guys. So let's get to the next activity that we have here. And I have a couple of questions for you. Can you help me read the first question, please, Suleyma? Sure. What kind of education does Blanca have? Um, Brenda, can you answer that question? Okay. Mm, okay. Bianca is a doctor, maybe. But she has a? Oh, BB. B -B I don't remember what is that. But you can say just she has a BBA. Okay, she has a BBA. Okay, thank you. So, no, she's not a doctor. <laughs> okay. She's a manager, you see? She's a manager. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. She has a <laughs> chronic condition. She's sick, but she's not a doctor. <laughs> Let's go with the next person. So, Flor, can you help me read the number two? What other type of job could Blanca have in the company? What other type of job? Uh, okay. So she has worked, let's see. She has worked at Molsa. She was a manager. Mm -hmm. So what other type of job you think she can do? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. If you have an answer, just raise, raise your hand. If you know what another job she can do, like instead of just being a manager. Nothing. She can do nothing, teacher. Nothing. She can just be the manager, right? Maybe she can be a manager. Maybe she can work in human resources. Human resources, yes. She can work in human resources because she's a manager. She knows how to work with people. She knows about the employees and the maybe the, the employees that she needs to hire. What else do you think? If she was a manager, she can be a manager. Uh, manager. Uh, Operation manager. Operation manager, yeah. But also a manager. Uh, C -C -C. Assistant. Oh, how did you know, Jessica? Yes, she can be a manager assistant. Yeah, I know. I didn't th think of that. <laughs> I know. So, so administrative assistant or, or accept yeah she can be an administrative assistant yes she can be a manager assistant she can be yeah she can be many things because managers know about the people and the, how to hire them great very good we have this this is the main thing we are going to be doing today so if you go to the platform you will see this form in the platform the form is called application for employment, right? Application for employment. We're gonna do an activity right now that requires you to have this. So if you can take a screenshot, if you have the manual on the platform, as all of you do, you can go ahead, try to log in the, I mean, the platform and then just do it there. Let's go step by step here. So the first thing, it's the date. So you can ask the person or you can just write the date. What is the date? So I'm gonna be filling out this with you guys. I don't know, we're gonna do this together and then we're gonna do it 
separately. Okay. So, May. Jessica, what is the date? May. Mm -hmm. And 17th. Mm -hmm. And 2021. Excellent. So that is the date for today. Yes. Position apply for. Just tell me whatever position you want, guys. It's not something like you have to. Teacher. It has to be. You want to be a teacher? <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. See, teacher. Think about it. Think about it. El salario no está tan prometedor como piensan. So think about it. <laughs> right, Juan? I know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's this is about, I, I always say, you guys, this is about having, like, tienen que tener vocación. It's not about <laughs> making a lot of money. It's just. Patience. It's like nurse. Patience. Yes, there's a lot of patience. And also, I know Juan Jose knows. You can see that we're working here teaching, but you don't see all the other work that we do. The, the grades, the exams, the, like the reports we have to fill out. It's a lot of things. So I'm like, yeah, you have to think about that. But that's okay. If you want to be a teacher, good, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is your name? Brenda. It's Brenda, mm -hmm. Erlinda without H, mm -hmm. Science with S and Z at the end, mm -hmm. and Villatoro. We're gonna, just going to write the V because it will, it will be like a lot of, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, well, look, we have two. Oh, my God, teacher. It's because you don't know. Teacher, what are you doing here? Right? Excellent. So it's here. We have two spaces to do that. So the first one was first names, maybe, and then the sour name or the, the sour names or the, the, the family Sorry. name. Sour name or family name or the last name. So you say science. Mm -hmm. Via science. Toro, right? Yeah. Maybe imagine that I did this. Imagine, just imagine. So and you say, is that correct, Brenda? No, it's not correct. Oh, what is the mistake? V. It's, it's with V and not B. Oh, it's V. As in... As in... Um, Axing Mark. Volcano? Oh, you, volcano, right? You, you, you forgot the accent Mark. What is it? In the first eight, in the last name. In Science. the first eight? So it's like with this, oh my God, guys, wait a minute, because my, is in, 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 in English. So wait a minute. Ay, no sé dónde está la tilde en este teclado. Oh yeah, I found it. Sans. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, Katia, what is your address or where do you live? I live in Satellite, San Salvador. Satellite. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Oh. Yeah, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Piensan que es mentira, no, no es mentira, de verdad. <laughs> you see? Even in Spanish, so don't be surprised. That's called dyslexia. Okay, phone number. Ana, Elizabeth, can you tell me your phone number? If you want to make it up, make it up. It doesn't have to be your phone number. Okay, 70... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that correct? I think so. Seven, eight. Oh, eight. she said seven, eight. Ah, okay. I'm making those mistakes on purpose, you guys. So you can be like, no, it's not correct. It's seven. It's seven, eight, no seven, four, okay? Um, Ruth, what is your sex or gender? Femon. Female? Female. Okay, yes. excellent. What is your, look, we're filling on information like <laughs> with many people, but at least it's a female and the name is of a female name, right? So, um, 
Harbin, what is your date of birth? Okay, March. Okay, in English, remember, we have to write the date in English, right? So first in Spanish will be like, today is like 17 del 5 del 21, right? That's, that's, in, that's in, in Spanish, right? If I, if I remember. But in English, how would it be? The month first. So can you tell me the month, um, Harvin? It's March. March, so that's the yes. third, right? So that's number three? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh my God, why is it not working? Has to work. Oh, three. And the date? 28. 28. And the year? 89. Like that? Yes. Excellent. 1989. So just make this up. Miguel, what is your social security number? It's um, three. Three, four, five, two, <laughs> zero, one. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Guys, instead of saying zero, zero, what can we say here? Oh, oh. excellent. Good job. And Merlin, do you have a driver's license? Not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> in process. Oh, in process. Yes. Excellent. Um, Kerry, uh, let's talk about your employment history. What was your first job? But no, just let, let me see. Dates of employment. Can you tell me the, the dates of your first job? For example, the year? Year. It was 2017. 2017. Okay. Can you tell me the name of the company? It was, it was Sykes. Sykes, like this? Yes. Okay, excellent. Can the te you tell me the address of Sykes? Just tell me the, the, the department. It's in Salvador. Okay. I'm just going to write like this, you guys, because there's not enough space. What was your job position? A customer service agent. You're going to go on a guy like this, so we have a like, space. And what were your duties? Help the customers mm -hmm. uh, attend calls, mm -hmm. uh, make reservations, or oh, book. Book, book uh, reservations, book. that's better, okay. So guys, uh, Jessica, tell me the date of your second employment. Second employment, huh? 20, here we go. Sorry, sorry. Uh, 2011. <laughs> 2011. Okay, yes. the name of the company? Uh, Mejia Asociado. Okay, I'm uh, just going to write Mejias. Uh, the okay. address? San Salvador. Your job position? Uh, Accountant Auxiliary. Okay. What was your, what were your duties? Uh, uh, accounting. Uh, accounting. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, right? Accounting. Okay, yes. guys. So do you understand the activity we're going to do? Is it clear for you? Yes, it is. Okay, so you have this and you're gonna complete this information with your classmates. And as it is a two, th two people thing, so I'm gonna send you to breakout rooms of two people. If we have more, because we're 16, no, I think we're okay. I, I think we're okay for, for breakout rooms of two. Yes, so I'm gonna send you to these breakout rooms, but just let me see, I don't wanna, send a quiet person with another quiet person, which is gonna be like complicated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think this is okay. I hope it's okay. 
Okay, guys. So I'm going to send you to the breakout room and you have to do this for your classmate and your classmate has to do it for you. So you're going to be like I, an interview. I know it's a, it's a filling out the form. So you have to fill out your own form. But it, this time we're going to practice with our classmates. Like you have to make them questions and they have to answer and you have to write them down. Okay. If you're from your computer, you can share your screens and do so. Is it understandable? Yes. Excellent. So let's go. ¿Quién, quién, quién? Claudia Cárcamo. ¿Ya le envié ahí a uno? Mire si le llevo la invitación. Ahorita. Hello, hello, guys. Let's go to the break rooms, please. Break rooms, please, please, please. There we go. Filling in blanks. Yes, yes. Uh, date? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I think it's so this day. It's going to be for today. Today, today is uh -huh. May. Uh, May. 7th. 17th. 17th. Yes, 17th. Yes. With TH? Yes, TH. Mm -hmm. 2021. Yes. Um, my position, uh, applicated for uh, audit technical. Audi. Audi. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Audi. Technical. Uh, technical and auditoría. 
Okay, okay. okay. About me, um, I'm working as a coach, but I'm going to put there, mm -hmm. you have to put there, um, as an agent, you can put. Agent? Yes, agent. I started like that. Okay, agent. What is okay. your billing address? My address is uh, Ciudad Versailles. San Ciudad Juan Pico. Yes. Okay. It's V. V like boys. <laughs> v is in Victor. Uh -huh, Victor. Okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. Okay. Um, other job? Oh, you want to talk about your education? No. <laughs> the, 2019? Mm -hmm. 2019, uh, too. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. The same year. Um, in the study values. Address San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Also, also, really, the education. Mm -hmm. I I don't know how to say bachillerato. <laughs> uh, maybe it is high um high school. Yes, yes, it's your high school. High school. Yes. Yes, so I'm uh, I'm high. Uh, I I have the high school. I have the high, high school in the. You have the, do you have and uh, you have you graduated? Uh, yes, yes, I I graduated uh, in uh, high school of uh, Inframor Instituto Nacional. Okay, so you're you're right now, uh, Ruth. You only have your high school right now. I am starting in uh, the the next year. I I am start to I will start to a uh, university of uh, software and engineering technician. Oh, awesome! The and how old are you? Uh, I, I love this, but uh, I'm so nervous uh, to start the next year. But 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 how old? Like your age? How old are you? Uh, uh, how old are uh, I? I'm uh, 23. Eight. Wow, you're young. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, it's awesome. I guess that, that career is really good right now, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Very good. Is good luck. Issue. Good luck with that. I, I hope you do good. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Um, another sound Okay. What's your phone number? My phone number is seven five uh nine six one two three four. Okay. Um, sex. What's your sex? Female. And what's your birthday? Uh, five. Uh, twenty-one. Uh, nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. Okay. Uh, can you? Tell me your social security number. Sure, is uh is her my full name is Harbin is that Harbin with with H Harbin no with a yes J Harbin H. is Sa is Sack uh, okay yes. Harbin. And your surname? Guevara Miranda. Guevara Miranda. Okay, what's your address? Las Delicias? Mm -hmm. Block one? Uh -huh. 
Lourdes Colón. Thank you. And your what's your phone number? My phone number is mm -hmm. seven 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 four zero oh. four zero oh. five three nine five three. three nine three. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, what? Duties do you have to do? Um, Did you have to do? Sorry. There are a lot. <laughs> there is uh, administration. Do you have to manage what? Uh, administration people. I mean, uh, do you manage contact? people? And um, what else? Make make plans. Just that because we don't have more space. The second one. The second employment. Your second employment. Oh, I don't have it. I don't have a second one. Ah, do you still do you still work there? Excuse me. Do you still work there? Yes, I work in there. No, do you still work? Seven. 1997. 19, no, 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 1977. Oh, wow. Where are you from? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, where were you studying? Where? In which place uh, were I you? Study, I, I study in a school from San Marcos. San Marcos, and, Lempa? No, San Marcos, San Salvador. Oh, San Marcos, San Salvador, okay. Mm. Okay. Yes. And it was the, the first time I hear that uh, last name. And Spiderman, uh, <laughs> Yes, it's, I think that it's the correct word, Spiderman. It's, hmm? it's very, very, very beautiful place. Another uh, place, I think it will be Panama because they have so many. Um, many um there are so many jobs for trade or international trade because they have the channel of panama oh okay perfect i think that there there are many jobs opportunity <laughs> of um, exportation i don't know trade international trade commerce <laughs> Okay, perfect. Well, uh, this, that, that sounds interesting, your uh, experience, but is uh, in for my in my case, I have only two tra only two jobs in my life uh, job. Um, the Hesa, the first, mm -hmm. and the second part of Galvanisa, only two jobs i don't I, have uh, did you finish the form yes we finished quickly so you're practicing right now yes we were we practicing, practicing about practice. jobs oh about excellent job. thank you very it's much really job. okay thank you
I, I live in Soyapango. Did you finish, guys, or not? Uh, I'm the last one. Oh, okay, excellent. Okay, Soyapango, San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. Okay. What is your your telephone number? My telephone number is nine 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 eight zero zero six seventy. Okay. Uh, text. Female. Okay. What is your date of birth? It's October uh, 1st, October 1st, and uh, 1992. 1992. Okay. Uh, so social security number? My social security number is seven seven six five four three two one. Do you have driving license? Driver's yeah. license. License, yes. No, I don't. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> employment history, date of employment. My first job was on 2011. What is of the name of the company? Hello. Hello. Did you finish? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Good job. Good job, guys. <sighs> Claudia, today I have to stay with you at 10 p.m. Sorry? So, this is, esta es su primera vez en las clases de inglés de este eh, yes. clase corporativo? Sí. Ah, ok. Eh, ¿Ya tiene acceso a la plataforma? Ahora voy a probar los accesos. La semana pasada tuve conflictos. ¿Sabe qué? A las, justo hoy, excelente que venga hoy. Justo hoy tenemos una sección, 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 sí, sección, ¿verdad? Session. Sesión. No, sesión. Sesión. Ven, I can speak Spanish. <risa> <risa> tenemos una sesión eh, privada con usted. Porque todos los días tengo a un alumno o alumna y creo que esta vez le toca a usted. Déjeme corroborar bien este dato. La última persona fue eh, 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 Brenda. I think Brenda, right? Brenda tuvo yes. unas preguntas bien interesantes, right, Brenda? <laughs> yeah. Aclarada, ¿verdad? <laughs> Alright. Ok, so tengo Brenda, sí, tengo Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta hoy. Mañana tengo a Diana. Yes. So today is Brenda. I mean, I mean, Claudia. Brenda was, it was Friday. So, Claudia. So, nos quedamos, Claudia, a las 10 con usted. Y fácil, excelente, porque así le voy a poder explicar todo lo que no sabe. De, de las de los, por ejemplo, de la plataforma, de esto, cualquier pregunta que usted tiene, ahí me la hace y ahí tenemos esos 10 minutos para lo que usted quiera preguntarme de, del curso. 
Okay. Thank Excellent. You. Very good. Excellent, guys. That was really good. And I am proud of you because I went to some breakout rooms and you were speaking about your job experience. You were talking about other things. I made you wait because there was a breakout room of three people. So I couldn't just like stop there because they had to finish. Okay. So, and Flora, are you still with the uniform of your company? Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Don't worry. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, guys. So we're going to do the practice again with another person because we have to practice, practice, practice. But this time I forgot something. I don't know if you did it. There's the education part. Did you see the education part? Some of you were yes. doing it. Uh, yeah, right? Some of we you do were it. Doing we did it. it. You did it. Yeah, some of you were doing it, I know, but some others weren't. So the education part is where you talk about your education. Mostly, <laughs> this, is, this is the deal. So mostly talk about your higher education. Talk about your high school, maybe if you have a high school and a technical high school. For example, I have a, an accounting high school. So I have a like a technical accounting kind of thing there. Uh, I realized that I don't like numbers. So I stopped studying that and I started studying English. <laughs> it doesn't have to be with numbers at all. So uh, talk about your education like that. Talk about the diplomas, diplomas that you have. Talk about university stuff. And if you wanna talk about your kindergarten, that's okay, but when you go to a job interview, are you gonna say, yo fui al kinder de la niña Paulita, right? So you're not gonna be like that. Yo fui al kinder manitas felices. I went to the kinder mariposas volando, something like that, I don't know. Who's gonna be like, oh yeah, yo también fui ahí, right? The, the contratado, right? It, it's not like that, guys. So if you wanna talk about jobs, or I mean about education, talk about education that at the end matters for the job, right? That's, I think that's what we do for the job interviews, right? Like I say what matters, what is important for the job. Understood? Yes? Yes. So we're gonna do this activity just one more time. So let me see if I like these breaker rooms. Yes, this is okay, okay. This is okay. Most of you guys here in the in the let me this is this is I don't like this. So most of you guys here in 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 this class, you speak that I'm proud of that because every time I go to the breaker rooms, everyone's speaking. So I like that. If I go to a breaker room and I hear and I don't hear like nobody speaking, that that's gonna be a problem. But so far so good. Let's go. Estefania. Hello, Estefania. <laughs> what Hello. happened today? 
Uh, I'm so sorry, but I was driving and I don't have data. Oh, you don't have like uh, phone service? No. Oh, and you were driving? Sorry, what? You were driving, right? Yes. But uh, this time it's okay, but try to connect like the the other days right so it's important for you to be in the classes maybe hello hello la señal está mal sí oh. efectivamente mire ahorita sus compañeros están practicando a darse información personal si quiere la mando a un grupo solo a que escuche lo que están haciendo Ah, ok. Está y bien. si quiere participar y se anima, dígales ahí que va a participar. Pero la puedo mandar para que vea lo que están haciendo. Ah, ve, perfecto. Okay. So I'm going to send you here. English normal, but for me it was very difficult. I remember the first time I had the the class, the first class, the teacher write down in the black in the in the black pizarra. How do you say pizarra? Uh, board. board, blackboard. In the blackboard, the questions, and I didn't know how. To how to pronounce the question. Oh it, it, it was really big for me. When I finished the high school, I start I started at the University Tecnológica mm -hmm. and I finished my career about a bachelor of love. Okay. So I work as a, as a lawyer. Hello, are you filling out the information? Oh Oh, we, 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 we thought just talking this time. No, it's the same. <laughs> oh my God, okay, okay. And, and listen guys, Stefania is late to the class, so she's gonna be listening to you. And if she wants to participate at the end, she can. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay I'm going to... <laughs> uh-huh, something like that. <laughs> but it's very good. Uh, Did you, you know, finish it... out filling out the information? Yes. The information for everyone. Did you finish filling out the information? Which one, teacher? The same document about the job application. Oh my gosh, we were um, explaining about our job um, experience. 
oh, you have to do it again, but with other people. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> we will do it now. That's okay, that's okay, don't okay. worry. Okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> guys, I'm sorry that I didn't explain myself really good. So you have to do the same activity you were doing, but with the other person right now. So filling out the job application, uh, with Jessica, yes, but with William, no, we were talking about uh, education. Yeah. Yes. So, but now that you finish talking about education, you can fill out the information again, because it's another practice with another person. Okay. Oh. okay. <laughs> it's fine. Thank I'm you. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Buy anything that, that you are missing with food, with Everything yes. is here. Everything is closed. Yes. Here, everything, everything is closed. Is closed. Yes, yes. Just so I feel better here than Ciudad Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. Just, just, the, there? I don't know. Just, just the chorros sometimes. I. Mm. <laughs> yes. Yes, but I, is... I feel better. Mm -hmm. Guys, did you okay. fill out the information? And uh, do you have <laughs> you have to do the same activity okay. filling out the job application. Okay, now, now, now. Okay, we do. We are doing now. <laughs> you were practicing. You were. Pr I mean, you were speaking about the chores and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Oh, they it, know. It's far. Yes. It's far. No, I know. I know that that is. And and your uh, what is what is team? Oh, how many months account account? I I would like to study account administrative account. Uh, okay. Or um, I don't know what is the. What is the uh, older career? But I I'm thinking in a study at university. Okay, guys. Nice. Did you finish uh, filling the job application? The same activity we were doing in the other breakout room. It's the same activity here. We practice, teacher. Uh, uh, we filling out the about... job application. We talk, we uh, practice, uh, yes. we're talking about uh, history, uh, uh, education history. Oh, but, pero terminaron de llenar la forma que llenaron con los otros compañeros? Eh, la solo... No, la misma forma, iban a hacer lo mismo, de cuál es su nombre, dónde vive, cuál yes, es el yes, yes, al que yes, aplica. Yes, yes. ¿Todo eso lo yes. hicieron? Eso sí lo yes. hicimos. Oh, ok, ok. Sí. So keep practicing, ok. <laughs> ok. Thank Terremotos? No. Uh -huh. Yes. I, I leave the terremote from earthquake. Here. Earthquake, yes, earthquake. It's uh, 6 May from 1965. I, I don't that... remember. <laughs> oh, no, no, you don't remember 50... I was a baby. 1986. I think that no. <laughs> no. <laughs> when were you born, Katia? In uh, 1997. Yeah, 97. She's younger than me, even so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, many, many younger. <laughs> yeah, Juan, you are the, the, the wise one here. Do you know what is wise? Uh, yes. So you are the wise one. Yes. <laughs> El Savio, right? He's the wise one in the classroom. Uh, and the oldest, oldest uh, too. <laughs> yeah, that's hey. a nice way. Yo no quería decir the oldest, por eso yo dije the wise one. <laughs> no. One was a two careers. Sí, yeah, he has two careers. He has architecture, you said, and you have uh, <laughs> civil engineer. Mm -hmm. like and, in, and a master too. What do you have a master? 
He is yes, very the master in education. Oh, really? Oh my God, you have studied a lot. Yeah. You always, you always learn. Yeah, you, you always learn. Yeah, always. I, 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 I'm, I'm still learning. Even though I speak English, I'm still learning. Every day I'm like, oh, I didn't know that, right? <laughs> you are younger. Yeah, I'm young, but with English right now, I'm saying like I studied English, but I keep learning every day okay. about English. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah, right. For, for so, me, it's very difficult to learn English because oh, many, many things I, I uh, think, I know many things in Spanish. It's very difficult to me. To me learn. too. <laughs> but the, the, the thing is that people, guys, here's, here's the thing. You think in Spanish and then you speak in English. And when I speak English, you translate in your mind and you translate it into Spanish and then you think, right? <laughs> that is the main problem with learning a second language. That is the main problem. Because the, the problem is you want to say something in English the same way, the same way you say it in Spanish. Mm -hmm. And it's a different language. So your mind gets confused and your mind is like, why? But why? Like, what is going on here? So that, yeah. that that's why it's easy with babies, because babies learn to say one thing two ways. So, for example, if you teach a baby that this is a lapicero and also is a pen, the baby will be like, oh, así se dice mm -hmm. de dos maneras. So it's better to be like bilingual when you're born, but unfortunately, we are not. <laughs> Two years ago, I went with my daughters from Los Angeles and San Francisco, and my second daughter speak English very well. Nice. Your second daughter, she was born in the States the or three, here? The three, the three daughters speak English very well. Were they, were they born here or were they born in the United no, States? No, they were born here in El Salvador. But they, were, they went to the United States when, you, when they were young? Um, uh, excuse me, repeat, please. So did you take them to the United States when they were little, like kids? Uh, sometimes they, they uh, always travel from USA, uh, from had a baby travel. Uh -huh. So yeah, that's why that, that they have a better. I, but I, they, but I, I, yeah. She learned uh, English here in Salvador. Oh, she, but yeah, I did too. I learned English here in El Salvador, but I went to live and and I live in the United States for a year, and that's where I think I improved my English. Uh, I say that like I did, I learned English here, but when I went to the United States, my pronunciation got a little bit better. I, I don't my know, youngest, it's about my, living there. My youngest daughter, my youngest daughter uh, worked in a call center. She, she did? So yes. she has experience speaking English? Yes. yes. Okay, you guys, so we have to go because it's about 10, but we have to, <laughs> I'm gonna send you to the, the main session okay. for the last attendance. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. I, I almost forgot that I have to go through the second, I mean, the third attendance. So it's about 10 p.m. I have to go through that. Let's go, 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 go. Okay, guys, I like this class today because you were practicing a lot. I don't know if you like that. It's, it's really good when you practice, right? Because you have the opportunity to speak and you you don't you're not like just listening to the teacher and you're like oh, oh my god teacher yeah right you're practicing which is important so I like this class we're gonna be like practicing a little bit more only when I have like grammar topics and stuff like that I have to explain a little bit more right so for you to understand but other way when we have to speak we speak and that was really good. And I got to speak with you too, because I went to some breaker rooms and I got to speak to some people. That was good. Okay, let's go to the last attendance of the class and then I will stay with Claudia, right? So let's go. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. 
I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. I'm here. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. Here. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. I'm here. Uy, pensé que no le iba a poner asistencia hoy. <ríe> uh, Florida Alma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I am here. Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. I'm here. Juan José Ábalos Campos. I am here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. I'm here, teacher. Mm, Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. I'm here. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. I'm here. Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla Ciudad Real. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Suleima Lisset, uh, yeah, Suleima Lisset uh, Méndez Romero. I'm here. William Antonio Morales Mancía. I'm here. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Silvia Maria Rivera Rivas. Right, she's not here. Okay, you guys, that will be it for today. And I will see you tomorrow. And I'm just going to stay with Claudia, right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you, see you, see you, see you. I'm just going to stay with Claudia. Me quedo con Claudia el día de hoy, ¿verdad, Claudia? Sí, sí. Excelente, vaya, mire. Estos 10 minutos les, le cayeron a usted como anillo al dedo, ¿verdad? Los 10 minutos que tenemos son para explicar temas que los alumnos quieran saber y eso, pero con usted nos van a servir para, para platicarle del programa y de todo esto, ¿verdad? Me dice que es primera vez que está en el programa. Sí, es primera vez. Vaya, eh, el primer aspecto que le voy a explicar es que en su cuenta de Zoom arregle el nombre para que le aparezca completo cuando se conecte, porque necesito okay. nombre completo. Por ejemplo, ahí dice Claudia Cárcamo, en la próxima clase tendría su nombre completo. Ok. Ok, esa es la primera cosa. Bueno, es tener cámara encendida, tener el nombre completo, paso tres asistencias. La primera, puntual a las 8, tal vez a las 8, 1, 8, 2. Pero a esa hora paso la asistencia, paso una asistencia a las 9 y paso una asistencia a las 10. Esto es como términos generales, ¿verdad? Eh, espérenme, le voy a mostrar una presentación que tengo aquí. ¿Qué me le había pasado que no se había podido conectar? Fíjese que cuando quiero entrar, yo pensé que era, era requisito indispensable conectarme a la plataforma, pero cuando pongo mis credenciales, me dice que no existe mi correo personal y ahí me enviaron la notificación. Entonces quiero enviar la contraseña o recuperar la contraseña y no me lo permite. No puede recuperar la contraseña de la plataforma. No, correcto. Ah, vaya. Entonces, déjenme, voy a decirles que se comuniquen con usted. Siempre anoto lo que voy a decir porque se me olvida a mí todo. <ríe> ok. Bien, este, contraseña. Se le, se le perdió la contraseña de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Lo que pasa es que, vaya, fíjese, me inscribí en el programa hace algún tiempo, pero yo todavía estoy estudiando. Por ejemplo, mañana me podría conectar a partir de las 8.30, cuando yo termine mi clase de la universidad. De 8.30 en adelante, yo voy a ingresar al grupo. Solo los días martes. ¿Solo el martes este pasa eso? Libre. Sí, solo martes tengo clase. Vaya, ahí sería que intentemos conectarnos, porque como ya perdió tres días, entonces intentemos conectarnos siempre, y el martes puntual, ¿verdad? A las 8.30, porque los minutos cuentan. Aquí es por minutos la asistencia, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. son 120 minutos los que tienen que tener a diario. Ok, pero eso está bien, eso está bien. Yo le diría a manera de consejo que si usted puede conectarse desde otro dispositivo a las 8, aunque no esté hablando, se conecte. Y después a las 8 y media sí. ya enciende su cámara y su micrófono. Ah, perfecto. Vaya, Así, o sea, está como en las dos clases, pero usted está poniendo atención allá y después se pasa a esta clase sin que le quite esos 30 minutos. Va, de acuerdo. Si puede, podría ser así. Va. Va. En la plataforma eh, va a encontrar, nunca ha tenido acceso a la plataforma entonces, ¿verdad? No, no, no. 
Vaya, vamos a irnos a la plataforma para explicarle lo que va a ver. Usted cuando ya logre entrar, lo primero que va a ver es esta pantalla. Ya va a ver. Ok, esta pantalla. Aquí le va a decir hola, le dice su nombre, que este es el mío. Y le dice los cursos que usted tiene, que obviamente el que usted va a tener es este. Mire, inglés principiante módulo 6. Así le va a aparecer. Y esta imagen le va a aparecer también. Ok. okay. Entonces, da okay. clic ahí, entra. Ok. Y ahí va a tener esto, mire. Son secciones. Las secciones son por semanas trabajadas. Ya que el día de hoy estamos viendo la, la, la clase 4. Digamos que esta semana, mañana, terminamos esto. Mañana terminamos la sección 1. Usted da clic aquí, mire. Va a entrar aquí donde dice Unit 1. Y vamos a ir ahí. Ya le voy a mostrar lo, a, a dónde la lleva. A ver, cuando me cargue, si quiere cargar esto. Ahí estamos. Va. Aquí usted va a ver las videoconferencias. Esto le puede servir bastante a usted, eh, Claudia, porque no ha estado en la clase. Entonces, mire, si usted quiere ver lo que hemos estado viendo, aquí está la clase del primer día. ¿Se fija? Día uno uh -huh. está grabada. Usted puede verla. ¿Ok? Puede okay. ver la clase del día uno. Luego hay una tarea después de eso. Estas tareas, todas estas que salen con lapicito así, mire, todas estas de lapicito son indispensables, muy, muy importantes que usted las haga. Estas tareas van a ser con respecto a lo que yo he enseñado en las clases. Entonces usted va aquí eh, y, se, y selecciona las respuestas correctas y lo envía. Aquí donde dice submit o enviar, no sé cómo le va a aparecer a usted, lo envía. La ventaja de esto es que usted puede hacer este ejercicio cuantas veces tenga que hacerlo hasta que le salga todo bien. Así usted okay. tiene la nota, pues, 100, ¿verdad? Todas buenas, de todas buenas. Okay. Y aquí otra vez se va la, al segundo video, esto que aparece como video aquí, y está la clase del día 2. ¿Se fija? Ahí estábamos todos. Luego tiene tarea del día 2. Esta la hicimos con los estudiantes porque había un problema. Entonces, mire, aquí está la tarea y cuando ya le aparezcan todos con chequecitos, usted ya la deja ahí. Submit. Okay. La videoconferencia 3, aquí está también. Esta fue la del viernes. Todo bien ahí. Bah. Y aquí está la tarea 3. Todas estas, los videos, si puede verlos y si quiere verlos, perfecto. Pero lo esencial son las tareas. Tarea 1, tarea 2, tarea 3, tarea 4 y tarea 5. Son cinco tareas las que hay acá. ¿Ok? Una vez termine, usted va a entrar a la sección 2. ¿Ok? Al final de la sección 2, mire, hay un examen. Es a mitad del curso. Este examen, usted lo realiza. Igual ahí hay preguntas, hay audios. Selección múltiple, fácil de hacer. Vamos a, le voy a mostrar para que vea el ejemplo de cómo es. Vaya, por ejemplo, my boss, his office, every day. ¿Cuál cree que sería? Cleaning. cleaning. ¿Segura? Uh, es clean, clean. Cleans, es cleans con S, porque lleva el verbo, ah. es, la, es, la, es tercera persona. Entonces usted solo okay. va a ir seleccionando así, mire aquí, este es como es el examen, aquí le aparece la otra parte, la segunda parte, usted selecciona, la parte 3, usted selecciona también, y lo mismo, el examen lo puede volver a hacer. Si le salió algo mal, usted vuelve a hacerlo, vuelve a hacerlo. Mi, a, mi consejo es que lo vuelvan a hacer cuantas veces sea necesario hasta que tengan el 10, ¿verdad? Ahí. Ok. Eh, bueno, eso es por esto. Ah, la, luego tenemos la sección 3, que es lo mismo que le había explicado, y la sección 4, y otra vez tenemos un examen al final de la sección 4. Vale. Esto es como lo más importante ahorita. Esto lo tiene que llevar al día, si es posible adelantado. Si se va, usted, yo sigo explicando la sección 1 y usted va por la sección 4, por mí no hay problema. Pero el problema es que usted no haya trabajado nada y yo ya esté terminando la sección, ¿verdad? Por lo tanto, uh -huh. vamos a ver si le pueden arreglar ese problema mañana. Ok. okay. Ahora, miren, aquí hay un manual. ¿okay? Este es un manual que usted tiene. Usted se uh -huh. va aquí a la parte del manual y en ese manual está todo lo que yo doy en clases. Lo que yo presento, las conversaciones, la forma que estaban llenando ahora. Esto está todo aquí. Aquí dice, miren, en este. Módulo 6. Ahora, para que la lleve a lo que estamos viendo, aquí están las diferentes unidades que se están estudiando. 
Si usted quiere ir a la unidad que estamos estudiando hoy, presiona aquí, mire, Unit 1. Y la lleva directamente a la unidad 1. ¿Ve? Y aquí uh -huh. usted baja. Este fue el tema de la primera semana. Perdón, primer día, segundo día. Este fue el tercer día. Y aquí viene el tema que tuvimos. Este es el cuarto, mire. Ahí está okay. el tema del cuarto día. Ahí está la forma que estuvieron llenando hoy. ¿Se fija? Uh -huh. Sí. Cuando ya pasemos a la unidad 2, usted solo da clic aquí en unidad 2. Y va bajando según los temas que yo vaya explicando. La plataforma muy sencillo en ese aspecto. Y como lo explico, aquí están ya los temas, mire. Y como le explico, entrar a la clase con el nombre completo y tener la cámara encendida. ¿Tiene alguna okay. pregunta con respecto a eso ahora? No, 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 todo claro. ¿Está todo claro ahí entonces? Sí. Bueno, entonces creo que uh -huh. nos quedaríamos aquí, si le parece. Ok, está bien. Sí, okay. Gracias. Bueno, sí. un gusto, Claudia, y espero ver la mañana Igual. en clase, ¿sí? Sí. Le aconsejo yo que se acuerde esos 30 minutos antes para que siempre le cuente el tiempo, que tenga la cámara y el micrófono apagado. Va, de acuerdo, okay. teacher, está bien, bueno, muchas gracias. Bueno, pues, feliz noche. Buenas noches. Adiós. Gracias, igual. Adiós.